In Belize, as of April 2014, there are approximately 16,700 men and women who are presently jobless. It is a significant figure when one takes into account that the total number of unemployed workers has reduced by a mere 3.6 percent, or roughly 600 people since last year. While the unemployment line has been shortened by a fraction, recent statistics show that the Belize district has experienced a boom over the past year. The contributing factors for the increase in labor include ongoing infrastructure works within the city. Prior to 2011, there was uh, an increase in the unemployment rate generally, and then it is now bottoming out at the, at the 20, 2013, 2014. And so there, there is a possibility that the trend will continue and the bottoming out will, will continue. Now, I rather suspect, however, that there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, jobs being created, and they're basically seasonal work. And so when the construction uh, around the city finishes, and when the, the, uh, the oil prospecting finishes, then you might want to think that there might be an increase again. The number of persons employed grew by 3,200 to around 134,600 men and women. A majority of the additional jobs created in April are positions that are being occupied by men. The unemployment rate among women currently triples that of men. These numbers, the, these percentages remain virtually unchanged from one year ago. One year ago, the, the males, there were 79, 1% more, 70, 80.0 practically percent males in the April 2013. And we're basically just slightly down by 1%. And similarly for females, we are virtually the same mix in the, in the labor force as of April 2013. As it stands, the unemployment rate among women is 19.4%, while 5.9% of men are without work. If we look at agriculture, um, you, you heard that, that citrus is down, that, that uh, sugarcane is down, but, but shrimp is up. Okay, and so that that's where the that that's that, that's where the big big earner is, is in shrimp, and so although citrus is down and and sugarcane is down, the, the shrimp kind of compensates. Well, construction is 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 the easy one. It, it's it's just just straight going. Manufacture um, down in a lot of instances, but uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. Ma manufacture for things like soft drinks and beer is, is, is up quite quite a bit okay um, what else In, interestingly enough education is up I don't know if that uh, said something the average monthly income of employed workers fell by almost a hundred dollars to eight hundred ninety five dollars suggesting that many of the new jobs are low paying the segment of employment in the goods producing sectors went up from 31 percent to 36 percent, showing increases in construction and agricultural jobs. Unfortunately, I rather suspect that, the, that, that in construction, the jobs are probably fairly low-paying kinds of jobs, really nitty-gritty, grungy work. Uh, I rather suspect the same would be true for, for the fisheries, or for, for the shrimp. Um, well, I don't know if you can start engineering. There's a certain manufacturing thing, but the, but, but the, the sector is so small that you can't really absorb very many, very many brewmasters, no? Okay. The, I would like to point out on a whole, on a whole, that the educational levels for, for people actually employed are, is fairly low. It's fairly low to start off with. It's 50. It's primary school for, for almost 60% of the employed. Ethnically, Garifuna workers continue to experience the highest rate of unemployment, even though their rate fell by as much as 4 percentage points from 2013. Creole workers are close behind at 16%. Maya workers, on the other hand, recorded the lowest unemployment rate at 4.5%. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanika